Hey guys, we're going to talk about the TCA cycle. Um, so TCA is short for tricarboxylic acid cycle. Um, it's also called the citric acid cycle um, for the first acid that's created in that cycle. Um, or it's also called the Krebs cycle um, for the German chemist uh, Hans Krebs, who studied glucose and how it's broken down. Um, it's an eight-step process that takes place at the mitochondria of the cells of humans. Um, it's different for other um, anaerobic creatures, um, but specifically in humans, it takes place in the mitochondria. Um, Acetyl-CoA is uh, created through a number of processes, including oxidative decarboxylation, excuse me, carboxylation of pyruvate, catabolism of some amino acids, and beta oxidation of fatty acids. Um, after these pro processes take place, acetyl-CoA is unable to cross that inner barrier of the mitochondria, um, so it has to undergo a further process in order for the energy to be released to be used by the cell. Um, the first step uh, is acetyl-CoA enters the TA TCA cycle by combining with axo excuse me, oxalo oxaloacetate geez, uh, to form citrate, hence it also being called the citric acid cycle. During this uh, step of the process, coenzyme A is released. Um, with the addition of water, citrate is converted to isocitrate. Um, during the next step of the cycle, one carbon from the isocitrate is lost as carbon dioxide. Um, this ox uh, oxidation process gives us alpha ketoglutarate, and NADH and H plus are produced. Um, these can be thought of like batteries because they're holding a charge um, because they accepted electrons, and they eventually end up going onto the electron chain. Um, they're little energy shuttles. Um, let's see. From alpha ketoglutarate, another carbon is lost, and NADH um, and H plus are produced again, giving us succinyl CoA. GTP is produced by the phosphorylation of GDP um, as coenzyme A is removed from succinyl CoA, giving us the succinate. Succinate is oxidized, which means it loses electrons to fumarate. That's what it becomes is fumarate. Um, during this process, FAD is reduced to FADH2. And FADH2, again, can be thought of like that battery, um, a charged battery from having accepted electrons during that reaction. Next, a molecule of water is added to the cycle and fumarate is converted to malate. And then finally, malate is oxidized to give us an oxaloacetate, which is the original molecule that we started with as that reaction um, for uh, acetyl-CoA. Um, and NADH plus is reduced to NA, or excuse me, NAD plus is reduced to NADH and NADH can be thought of like that battery, like I said. Um, with this, we're back at the beginning of the cycle. This happens twice for each molecule of glucose um, that goes that becomes um, acetyl-CoA, and it produces, at the end of these two cycles, it produces 2 ATP, 6 NADH, and 2 FADH2 from those two cycles, and then the NADH and FA FADH2 are energy shuttles that then go on to the electron chain, electron transport chain. So, thanks guys.